Sri Kurbiya Namaha children. We welcome to our online learning initiative class. Okay, that this lesson is so interesting. No, with the continuation of the previous topic, going to see today's topic. Are you ready now? So lesson name is animals everywhere. In this, going to see the next topic is movements in animals. So animals everywhere, you know already it is. It may be on the land, in water, or in if they can fly in the air, isn't it? So definitely animals will be everywhere. It will present everywhere. So it cannot prepare a food. It depends on the food. So that it has to move. We know as we know on land, in water, in air. So how it's moving? Going to see with some more examples. Shall, shall we? So land animals. Okay, land animals means most some most of the animals are having how many legs? Four legs. How many legs? Four legs. So how do you call that? Normally, how many animals? How land animals will have a four legs? We can say. So even that, how do we can say it means? The most mammals have four limbs. You know what are mammals? Mammals means feeding a uh, young ones with their own milk. No, so the uh, to the young one which are giving uh, own milk, all those are mammals. So mammals like cow, horse, elephant, all these are having how many legs? Four legs. So how do you can differentiate the four legs? Means the two at the front are called four limbs. Four limbs. So do you know the pictures? It will make its body bend like this. The near its front part. Okay, near as I said, the legs which are present, it is called four limbs. These four is spelling. F O R E. The number is four. F O U R. These four limbs. F O or ye four limbs okay the leg which are present in the back of the animal it is called hind limbs four limbs hind limbs with this it can able to move okay so as i told you this many examples so you even you also know lion tiger uh, horse giraffe cow okay all these are having how many legs four legs no so the leg which are present in the front four limbs which are present at the back hind limbs so with this these are animals are moving in search of food water and shelter for that now going to see the next uh, place habitat of animal is water animals so many animals are living in the water isn't it so the example which we are going to take in this here is fish do fish having a limbs like a land animal no, then how it will move? Okay, do not have a limbs, but instead the part of a body which helping no these fins. Fins. Tail. These are helping this fish to swim in the water. That too, how do you know the fins are also having two types, one and two. One is unpaired fins, number two is paired fins. Okay, fins are how many types children? Unpaired fins and paired fins. What is the work? It is helping to this fish, no? And fins are helping to maintain a balance in his body. Even we are all maintaining our body to balance, no, stand straight. Sit straight, isn't it? So, the, so the, in the such a way, these unpaired fins are helping the fish to balance while it's moving, when it's turning to turn around or changing its direction to move. So, all these, these unpaired fins are helping the fish. Next is paired fins. Okay, so it helps to move forward, forward means front, so it can move always front position, if you want to come back means it will not, it will turn and then come back. So to changing this position, to changing the direction, to go front, these paired and unpaired fins are helping your fish, okay. So this is the one, tail helps to change direction.
So this is how these water animals are moving. This is one of the example. Let me see some, some other water animals are. Paddle like limbs. So fish is moving with the help of his fins and tail, no. So these uh, turtles, see, turtles have a four pedal like limbs. Push water back and swim. Next animal is penguin, use their four limbs as flippers. Flippers means a broad flat limb without fingers. Like a flat circuit it will have. So use their four limbs to push water to swim. So these are the limbs, the uh, limbs is present to turtle, penguins, no. So how it will move or no, like a uh, um, uh, water, man, water man, no? boatman use a rod, while well, using a roar, what will happen? If you push the water away, then what will happen? Automatically the boat will move in. The same way, these turtle penguins are by using its four limbs, pushing the water away. So when it's pushing it, you know, what will happen? Automatically its body moving front. So by this way, with the help of its limbs, this water animal is moving in the water. So next, you are very familiar this no this is a frog this is an amphibian no it can live both on land and in water isn't it so when it is in water no what is helping even on the land what is helping to move this webbed feet so you know the how the spider will form a web no how the spider will form a web like structure the same way See the uh, this limbs of frog. What is it? This is called webbed feet. Webbed feet means the limbs are covered with the skin and, and then connected with the skin together. So this is called webbed feet. With this webbed feet, what it can do? It can swim easily in the water. So to this, these feet are helping it. So, so far we seen about land animal and water animal. Next we are going to see the topic of insects. You know how insects are? Is it bigger one or smaller one? As very small, tiny, no? You know, you, you, you would have seen these mosquitoes, houseflies, bed bugs, isn't it? Ant and all, how tiny it is. We are very bigger than that. We have two legs, four or animals, some animals will have four legs, four limbs, hind limbs. It's, it is so tiny, although how many legs it has? See this, six legs. So insects are having how many legs? Six legs. We are very bigger, we have only two. Very tiny, it is having how many legs? As six legs. So with this six legs, what? Like how it can move, no? some examples, ant and cockroach, though it have a six legs also, it cannot walk, how it can move, no? it will crawl. How a small baby crawl and it, no, it cannot walk, it crawl, no, the same way these insects are all crawl and move. So next is grasshoppers, okay, grasshopper uses the long hind legs grasshopper are having a leg six legs at the back of it a long leg so long leg the which is having you no know, it helps to jump to a longer distance for that these long leg of grasshopper is helping to move okay next is water insects like water boatman use their legs as a oars like a boatman some water animal use its legs like a oar how oar will function it will push the water away so so that what can move it can easily move front in the water so by this way the insects are moving understood children how many legs are having by the insects as yes, six legs So the insect which are having a legs, it can crawl, no. Some, some insects have a wings. Who will have a wings? As birds. Whether we can consider these insects also a bird, though we have a wings, definitely not. Insects have a wings. The wings of insects are different. The, it is also having insects like a bird, but it is it is not same like a bird. It is different. In which way it is different? No, insects have no feather. 
bones or strong muscles so tiny you know how do they have these things so tiny so depends on that body feature it will have a wings very small wings are made of tiny scales so it uh, how the wings are made no tiny scales very very thin move with the help of the chest muscles so we here you know in this front part body part it will have a small chest muscles with that it can fly okay so insects such as lice bed bugs they, are, they also cannot fly okay they do not have a wings so they cannot fly then how do they move okay they can they cannot fly they move by crawling this lies in bed bugs no it can, see the legs 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 legs it has although it cannot walk it cannot fly it do not have a wing so it cannot fly how it will move it will move by crawling isn't it children so land animal water animal difference of insects we seen now going to see birds okay some of you would have a b pet bird in your home no did you observe that how it will fly going to see with this the four limbs of a bird are in the four form of wings actually how many legs it has only two no although the wings of a bird no it is considered as a four limbs what is the four limbs the leg which is present in the front isn't it the wings are helping uh, helping a bird to fly, no, that wings are considered as a four limbs with which it can able to fly. So there is, just look at this picture and say, what is this? These are feathers. So the wings are, uh, what is that? it? Uh, it have a uh, feathers attached with it. That feathers of wings attached with the breast bone or with the breast bone it contains strong muscles so what happened no that strong muscles giving a strength to the wings to fly so with that it can able to flap in the sky isn't it children but sometimes or at least one minute can flap in the air how it how it is happening because of the chest muscles strong muscles giving a strength to the wings wings are attached with the feather feathers and wings feathers of wings are attached with the breastbone that breast bones are contain a strong muscles it giving a strength to fly so that the wings of uh, the uh, wings of a bird is able to fly the wings are what it is a four limbs of a bird then what will be happen what is the usage of the hind limbs it have it, the, it have a two legs no see this this what is help of what how it is helping no after flight after landing uh, on land it can walk slowly so that these hind legs are helping then it can scratch the ground it can through a scratch it can find a food no then it can hop so that these hind legs are helping which are four limbs of a bird birds wings hind limbs a same real leg of it it helps to scratch the ground walk on the ground hop on the ground this is the way the birds are flying okay some birds do not uh, cannot fly why it is see emu ostrich penguin even these are also birds only but we can call this is a flightless bird okay why it is a flightless bird it cannot fly why it cannot fly no actually when it is small it, it would also have a wings when it's growing gradually see the appearance how how long it has grown up a gigantic look it is having no so when it's grown up what will happen no what will happen oh, the wings become shrinked and then uh, it, it do not have a strong muscles okay when it has strong muscles only it will help give a strength to fly though it do not have strong muscles it become weak and also the wings are got shrinked so that that is why these emu ostrich pen queens and all cannot fly okay so that is why these birds are called as flightless bird so examples of flightless birds are emu ostrich pen queen so next category of a moment of animal is reptiles you would have seen all this no 
okay all the snakes lizard uh, tot uh, turtles all these are uh, reptiles it have a uh, limbs okay although it cannot walk how it will move it will crawl and grow it will crawl they do not have a leg they have a scales okay scales means the see the have you seen the crocodile body structure the appearance of a skin no that is called scales so and especially if you take an example of a snakes alone it do not have a limbs then uh, not a legs also but it will crawl no how it is moving you no know? the whole body you no know, inside it it contain a plates okay that plates are attached with the ribs ribs means bones actually the bone of a snake is so flexible our bones are so strong no but the snake bones are very very flexible that is why it can crawl very fastly while it's crawling the bones also what happens it's making its bone to bend no because of this flexibility it can move okay so the bones and then the plates are helping to it move on the ground finally we discussing about the humans see the humans the humans are the most developed among all animals so far we see in land animals water animals insects birds reptiles you if you see in this among that we are we are human being no we are considered as a developed animals so why it is no if you think this from a small baby okay it can slowly sit then toddle then grow, grown up a child children then standing they can stand straight okay the posture of all is different from the other animal they can stand straight walk straight okay and they can hold the things in the hand tightly see this they use only one pair of limbs okay the how many limbs no only one pair lower that is our legs or lower limbs to support their body while walking and standing we have only one pair animals are having two pairs we are having only one it itself giving a support to stand straight see the posture are standing upright okay so our hands see our hands i can hold the pen i can hold the book tightly whether it will fall down definitely not why because i am having my four limbs this is this is called uh, this is called four limbs our hands are four limbs our legs are hand limbs leg okay these are lower limbs so this is how the, the that is why the humans are considered as a developed among all the animals have you understand this topic children okay we'll see uh, by when you see when i see you in the next class i will ask you about all this review make note this thing thank you children take care